Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to say why buy when you can DIY. I'm coming on today to share with you how to make some more Valentine gifts. I'll be doing a mug and a tote bag. So let me get right into showing you how I made these two items. Starting with our mug, I went into Cricut Design Space because that's the software I am and I got the template for making my mug today and this is how it looks. So I will be using my favorite thing which is the Cricut Infusible Ink Sheets. One side is plastic and one side has the design on it so we place the plastic side down onto our mat and then I'm just going to use the brayer and just smooth it out and then we're just going to put it into our cutting machine to be cut. So I'm just going to use my rotary cutter that I have here and cut off the parts of the infusible ink sheet that I don't need. I always say I hate to waste anything. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to take everything apart we're gonna weed it and the infusible ink sheets are a lot like cardstock so you could just weed it by hand just be careful take your time and weed out your pattern and now we have our infusible mug right here mine is from Cricut but you can get it on Amazon and other places so I'm gonna use some rubbing alcohol and clean off the surface and here is our template with our design so I'm just going to position it and put it onto our mug I like using the Cricut template because it is exactly to what size mug you have and it has a little extra space to place it onto your mug really securely and I am going to be using our Cricut mug press today so let me turn it on and it is red let me show you as you can see here it's red when it's all finished it will turn green and then I know it's time to start and now it's green so we have our mug here and I'm just gonna place it inside the machine turn the handle to the side where this little opening is to the side yep and then we just press down this lever and it starts the machine you don't have to um, set the temperature nothing it does all that for you and count down to when your mug is ready okay all the lights are flashing the mug is ready so I just pull up the lever and take out our mug as you see I have on my heat gloves because it is very hot the handle is not that hot but the mug and everything is so now I'm going to turn off the machine press that back down and we're gonna wait for it to cool off a bit okay it's been a little bit, so I'm gonna take off the thing now. Hey, look at that. And as you see, it transferred nicely, but look how nice it looks. <laughs> and I added the love is love <laughs> to the middle part of the template. Love is love. Isn't that nice? Nice and perfect onto our mug. I like it. I think it's a nice Valentine's gift idea to give to someone. Yeah. Okay, so now I am going to be doing a tote bag. And I got these tote bags from Amazon. I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check it out. They're black and white. I think it looks so nice. Anyways, this template that I have, I got from BB Craft. I think it was last year. I hope it's still good. I think they call them, um, these ones, um, I think it's the DTF transfers. It looks like it and feels like it. I might be wrong. Don't get me right. I might be wrong. <laughs> anyway, I'm using my Vivor 15 by 15 swing away heat press. So we're going to put our bag on to our heat press and I'm pressing it to let out some of the moisture. And 
and now I am lint rolling it. <laughs> All right, here is our transfer sheet. So I'm just going to place it into the center of our tote bag. And I'll be using some of my Teflon sheet. And then we're just going to press it for 15 seconds. And now it's all done. So we're just going to lift it up. And I'm going to wait a bit because I think it's a cool peel. Okay, so it feels cool now. So now we are going to lift it up. Take away the transfer sheet. Oh, that looks so nice. Now, I don't know if you have to press it again, but I'm going to press it again for a few seconds. So I put the Teflon sheet over it. And just a few seconds. There we go. <laughs> Still feels good. <laughs> okay, here is our finished look. I think it looks so nice. I'll give you a closer look. <laughs> Even in the midst of my storm, I see God working it out for me. Isn't that nice? I love it. And I've had it for um, a little over a year and it's still good. It's still good. I kept it in a plastic bag so it wouldn't get damaged and it still looks nice. And came out, out nice too, it pressed very well. And here is our mug. Two lovely gift ideas that you can make for yourself or make for that special one on your Valentine list this year. <laughs> lovely gift. <laughs> lovely gift idea all right everyone i hope i've inspired you to why buy when you can diy <laughs> and i will see you again when i turn this camera back on bye <laughs>